De Broglie or De Broglie has given us a theory that if matter can also behave like waves and uh, which is the number which associates the wave nature with the particle nature it is Planck's constant. Wavelength lambda that is the wave nature momentum is the particle nature and the only thing in between them is Planck's constant. So, Planck's constant is a particular number that can relate the wave nature with the particle nature. But can we really see this particle nature of matter particles? It is not possible or uh, uh, what to say? It is possible but it is beyond our observations. Let us see why it is beyond our observations. Let us compare two different particles macroscopic particles and microscopic particles. Macroscopic particles like me, you or a football or the objects which we can hold in our hand they are macroscopic particles. So, if there is a macroscopic body of mass 1 kg moving with speed 1 meter per second its momentum will be equal to 1. And when I put the momentum over here and find the wavelength that will be 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 34 meter. You can see the number is very small. 10 to the power minus 34 is the wavelength of such particles. Now this small wavelength is beyond our observation. So even if they behave like waves the wave character will not be that significant. If we on other hand come on microscopic particles like electrons whose mass is of the order 10 to the power minus 31 kg and if they are moving with a speed of 1 meter per second then the momentum is 10 to the power minus 31 in magnitude and when I put this momentum over here and calculate the wavelength it comes out to be a reasonable number 10 to the power minus 3 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters. Now this wavelength is actually significant okay, and it can be observed not by us but it can be observed by simple experiments by the same method which uh, we use to detect uh, interference and diffraction of the waves. Can we measure or can we find this wavelength from interference and diffraction? Yes, for microscopic particles it is quite possible. Okay. So, the big objects which we call macroscopic objects, their wave character is not so open in front of us. But when it comes to microscopic particles, the wavelength is significant. Can it be measured through experiment? Of course, yes.